In this video, I'm going to discuss the array data structure in C++ programming. Arrays are a special data structure that we can use when we want to have multiple values for the same data type. This is a data structure that we got from the C language. And this data structure is the basis for the C++ vector class. So a lot of times in C++ programming, we may choose to use a vector instead of an array, but understanding how arrays work helps us use vectors better. When we declare an array, we're going to declare it like other variables, but we're going to indicate the number of elements in square brackets. So for example, if I wanted to have an array of five integers for five test scores, I could create a test array by saying int tests and then put a five in between square brackets. That's going to tell the C++ compiler to set aside memory for five different integers, but we're going to reference them with the name tests. And the compiler, when it sees this variable, is going to set aside five adjacent memory locations for our five integers. And this is actually very efficient. When we want to iterate through the array, the processor can access each element very efficiently. So for my variable tests, which is an array of five integers, my compiler is going to allocate memory that looks like five integers in a row or five adjacent memory locations. Now, if I want to look at the value for each of the five elements, it's very easy for my processor to access each memory location one after another. The downside of having this type of data structure is we can't modify the size of our array after it's declared. We need to know how many elements we want at the time when we declare our array. We cannot later go back and add additional elements or remove elements. So how do we access specific elements with arrays? We're going to use something called a subscript. And this is just an ID number of one particular array element. Subscripts are always an integer. And what might surprise you is the first subscript is going to be numbered zero. So unlike counting items, as we might do as humans, where we start with the number one, when we're working with things in computer science, we often start with the number zero. And starting with zero is going to allow our processor run more efficiently with the way it's accessing memory. Because our first element is numbered zero, our last element is going to be numbered one less than the total number of elements, or n minus one. So if I have five elements in my array, they are going to be numbered zero through four, I have no element with a subscript of five. So how do I use those subscripts? If I want to access one particular element, I'm going to use the variable name of my variable followed by the subscript for that element in square brackets. Here I have de uh, declared an integer array named fives. And I initialized it with five values at the time when I declared the array. And I can do that by using curly braces on the other side of the assignment operator and separate each value by commas. So I have int fives with five values initialized to 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. 
So the first value of fives is going to have be our B's five, and the value with subscript four is 25. Now, if I want to view a value of a particular element, I can simply say C out fives, the name of my variable, and then indicate the subscript number of the element I want to see. Here I am displaying the third element, so I'm using subscript 2. And when this code executes, I will see 15 on my console window. So just like I access a value to see the value in an element, if I want to change an element's value, I'm going to use the assignment operator also with the subscript number. So here I have a different array named cookies, and it has five values. But this time I initialized it to five zeros. After initializing and declaring this array, I could decide that I want to change the value of the first element. So I can do this by saying cookies 0 equals 3. And now the value of 3 will be assigned to the first element in the cookies array. And if I could see it in memory, I would see that the first element now has a value of 3, but the other four elements still have a value of 0. Now there's a few things that I want to point out about arrays. As I said a moment ago, an array's size is fixed. The compiler must know how many elements we want at the time when we create the variable. Each element in the array must be the same data type. We can't mix and match data types inside the array. And then the other thing that we find with the C language is sometimes C lets us do things that we may not necessarily want to do. It's a very flexible language, but we can write C code and consequently C++ code where we use an invalid subscript. So with a five item array, I can write code where I'm referencing the eighth element. Now, if my array is only declared with five values and I attempt to access the eighth element, I can have unpredictable results because it's not really a valid thing to do. If I'm just trying to read the data, I might see garbage, or if I'm trying to modify the data, my program may actually crash.